Hi there, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about how you can get uh, references, reviews, study cases and ambassadors. So the whole point of getting uh, references, reviews, study cases and ambassador is of course uh, to get uh, more people coming to your place and purchase order from you. So there are several uh, different levels. The first one is references. So this is the fact that you are disclosing the information that um, you already delivered your products and services to some uh, companies or humans. And the next step is about reviews. So it's about uh, getting, let's say, the authorization by your peers, by, uh, let's say, consumer, by your clients that uh, they claim that your product is good. Study cases, which is the next step in which, in fact, you are getting uh, the close relationships between uh, two parts in order to uh, jointly write a full explanation, full success story, explaining uh, what has been done good and what has been done wrong. And ambassadors, which is about um, companies or humans which are claiming that uh, your company or your products are the best in the world. So our um, first uh, thing is uh, getting reference. So I would say that the first uh, thing that you have to note and to take into consideration is never stop your clients in the back. Okay, so normally you should not have to um, publicly say on your website that uh, you delivered your products and services to those given companies or to those uh, given persons without their consent. Uh, there's um, things to note here is that um, if uh, you are doing this without asking for their consent, what's uh, going to happen is that you are probably um, uh, putting them in, uh, in danger because uh, for some reason the product and services that uh, you are selling, well, um, they should not have to, I mean, the public should not know about it. And uh, let's imagine, for example, that you are selling a given software to a given company and that your software has some security issues, then you are disclosing the information that this given client is in fact, uh, using your product and of course that uh, they have a security issue. So it's uh, it's really important to not disclose this information without their explicit consent. And as well, uh, if they have a marketing or communication department and are seeing that actually you are using their name without their consent, they may come back to you saying, okay, um, we are disappointed by uh, your strategy, your communication strategy, and that's why we are not going to work with you next time. So pay attention with that. Always get the, the consent of the companies or the people in order to use them as references on your website. Next step is about getting reviews. So it's not just about uh, stating or publishing their name on your website. It's about uh, publishing uh, things that they said. So like uh, full sentences, full paragraph of text. Here, the best piece of advice that I can give you is that um, do not hesitate to ask for those reviews. Okay, If you are delivering a great product, a great service, they will be more than happy to um, for you to uh, I mean they will be more than happy to provide you with a review and the best time and the best person to do it is really the one who provided uh, the service so when this situation happens you need to have your resource your employee or the person who delivered the service to clearly ask uh, for it and what can be as well very interesting is that to explain exactly how the review will be used okay uh, where and when it would be published on uh, your website. And uh, I will say that the most important thing here is really to start, okay? To really to start to ask uh, the permission to ask for a review and then to have your website already ready in order to publish it. If your website is not ready yet, uh, please inform them about the location, the website on which they can publish the review. Like this, you are ensuring that the review will be published uh, soon and the most important thing as I previously said is really to ask it straight away don't wait because maybe the person that you get in contact with is going to leave the company in a couple of days couple of weeks and that's why you need, um, you need actually to make the review right away next uh, thing which is even more valuable are the study cases so study cases is a bit problematic I would say because it's really hard to do okay 
study cases, it's a success story, it's a long document to provide it at least one page long and if it's at least one page long someone need to provide all the content most of the time it will probably not be uh, your client entirely someone will have to write better story uh, before and this person is probably within your marketing team and then you will see that uh, with your client finally uh, they are disclosing too much information so as a result they will uh, drive it to their own marketing department and it will be more like a close relationship between two marketing departments in order to publish this given study case it's going to take ages uh, to get it so that's why it's always important to already have some guidelines for the return in order for both parts to know in which direction they are going and what they would like the, st the study case to be at the end of the day and of course um, as they don't really have an interest uh, right away to write this study case they need as well to identify what is the point for them to have a study case which of course means negotiation between your two marketing department and last but not least which is the most important uh, thing that you can get is getting ambassadors so ambassadors are in fact uh, people or company who will talk positively about your brand product and service and those are somehow your most valuable uh, person, uh, marketing person to who you can talk with, or at least your most valuable client if ambassadors are clients of yours. Um, so to say, you really need to have a clean CRM in order to identify uh, who could be the potential ambassador. And uh, when you start to get some, well, engage the discussion with them, okay? Those ambassadors they are um, talking about your company positively and even if you are never sure about where your leads are coming from, high chances that a huge part of those leads are coming from those ambassadors. So you really need to take, take care of them and engage a conversation and provide them something which is very valuable that no one can get. So this is where you can invite them to specific event. This is where you can offer them so specific a discount you can offer them the product you can send them goodies but they have to feel exclusive in order to keep continuing talking about you just keep into consideration that ambassadors are third party uh, marketing players okay they do not belong uh, to your company as a result they can easily find a competitor uh, company and do the ambassador for them so that's why you really need to have them within your uh, pocket and for this you need to take care of them and provide them something that other cannot and that's everything that i wanted to uh, explain you about how you can get uh, some uh, referrals for your company thanks for watching